What is going on everybody? This is Cole Lazarus Jax back here with another video and today I've got for you my game against the Miami Dolphins and I'm really sorry I couldn't get you the last game Chargers game. Uh, it was just me and him couldn't find the right time. I had work that day so you know it just didn't work out. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we ended up uh, simulating it and I ended up losing sadly so I went to one and five. But, you know, maybe we can change that this game. You never know. Uh, the week before, I had a bye week, so that's why I didn't upload then. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into this gameplay, shall we? So here's my first play of the game. I'm thinking he's in cover two, so I'm trying to look for that double move on the outside by Josh Gordon. And, you know what? I just didn't work out. I didn't have protection. I'm just, yeah. I had protection. It just didn't slide the way I wanted it to. Right here, I'm in split close pats, and uh, I'm trying to see if I can hit that Texas route because I completely forgot to take my tight end out and switch him with the receiver. Uh, and luckily, as you can see, I am. I find him right there. He gets a little sticky with it. It's pretty awesome. You know, gets out. It makes it like third and two. It's third and manageable. So right here, I'm thinking stretch, get a couple yards, you know, move the chains. Uh, I stretch it, and I do not get a good block for my outside tight end, sadly. Uh, it's like that sometimes, you know, uh, it happens. Um, right here, I'm just going to try a different stretch to the outside, and it works. Uh, Dalvin Cook come, cuts it to the inside, gets a first down. Very epic, if you ask me. Here is first and ten, and I'm seeing that he's in a cover three look, so I'm going to switch to verticals, put A and Y on a streak. I actually don't put Y on a streak because I didn't have time, but you can see right here. He wasn't even in cover three. He was in man, but you know what? I was able to find him nonetheless, so, you know, pretty great. Right here, uh, I see nothing, so Kyler... takes <laughs> off running. Kyler using those legs to get up chunky yards, and I tried to go for a field goal, didn't make it, as you can see, so 0-0, zero, zero, and he has it way, way back. Uh, so here's his first throw. He tries to nope. lob it up for a cover three beater and just nothing's there. Uh, my safety was behind, so, you know, no pick or anything like that. But, you know, I'll take an incompletion as long as he's not moving big chains like that. What? Right here. What the f***? I don't even know what happened there. I was holding Y that entire time, holding Y, holding LT, trying to lurk, and it was just not working. So Wait right here. Wait a minute. Just Austin Hooper absolutely mosses his D lineman who he put out there, and that was just not a smart idea to put his D lineman out there. Um, yeah, I'm fast as boy. Here you see Kyler Murray showing off the speed for the touchdown. Absolutely amazing play, Kyler Murray just an absolute game changer on this team. He just brings so much to the table with his speed. Uh, right here. Um, <laughs> dies <laughs> so yeah Aaron Lynch got an awesome hit stick there it was just ah it was, I love it it's so cool as you can see Joey Bosa coming in for his first sack or technically half sack of the game but you know what I don't care Joey Bosa first sack of the game and there's many more to come as you can see even just right here here comes Bosa, Bosa! And I couldn't have said it better myself. George Kittle knows what's good with uh, Joey Bosa, as well as Nick Bosa, you know, his teammate, fellow 49er. Uh, right here, I just, just get an absolutely great possession catch. Justin Jefferson is just had himself a pretty nice game. And it was actually a dev game, too, so that was pretty nice. He needed either two touchdowns or 100 yards for 20,000 XP, which is a lot since he's 20, so he needs, like, no XP at all and star development. Uh, right here, nope. just absolutely nothing's happening. I really thought he was in man that time. He was not. Uh, right here, I'm thinking, well, he's obviously not in man, so I'm just going to try and sling it in there, high pass to Justin Jefferson, try and get him his touchdowns to get him to start development and give him that sweet XP, but just Kyler Bruh. can't quite get it in there. And, you know, things like that happen uh, with Kyler Murray being such a low overall. But, you know, he'll definitely get there. I just can't wait until this man hits, like, 85 overall. Just by then, he'll be god tier. But right here, he's in man. Absolutely easy. Uh, yeah, Justin Jefferson, easy out route for the touchdown. Yeah, that's, that's all there is to it, really. Uh, right here, I absolutely whiff on attack on Alvin Kamara. And Kamara actually had a pretty good game. I think if he ran it a little bit more with him... Uh, he may have had just 
an absolutely spectacular game with him, but here you can see he goes with the out route. Smart idea since I was in a cover three look. Here I'm blitzing Chandler Jones on the outside, so you know his zone on the right is gone. Sending in a Mukamara, I think that's a Mukamara at least. And right here, Bosa. Absolutely coming in hot. Joey Bosa just having an absolute hell of a game. Absolutely crazy. Right here, he finds an in route to T.Y. Hilton. Ah, don't know why Aaron Lynch didn't cover that, but ah, man, that's just annoying. Right there, he gets just another really nice in route. Kirk Cousins is being super accurate. Uh, Kamara gets a little bit sticky. I almost missed that tackle with Roquan Smith. I was really trying to get a big hit on Kamara because I think yeah, I can make him fumble, but just not quite right there. Right here, he's trying to go with corner route, and he hits it, and ugh, yeah, I just take an ugly swing of that ball, and it is not going to help anything as he just swerves his way right into the end zone with Dante Pettis. Getting a little sticky with him, you know? Uh, right here, I'm going with Dalvin Cook to the, to the screen, and Cook gets a little bit sticky with it, too, you know? He, get, he gets around there, you know? I wish he would have stayed inside, but, you know, it happens. <laughs> and right there, I just threw it right into coverage. That was not a good idea. That was an absolute bozo move by me. I should have just rolled out and taken some yards with Kyler or just taken a sack. Either of those options would have been better. Anyways, he dots me up right there again with Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is just dotting me this game. It's insane. Right here, he's trying to go with some drags, and I tried to get there with Jonathan Abram. I just was not uh, quick enough, you know, mentally. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, right here he's going with a pass, and he's going with some out routes, you know, out routes, corner routes, uh, just kind of getting me every single time. But now I'm, now I'm thinking, you know, just keep running match. He can't hit the he can't hit the corners every time, run match, run cover two, stuff that won't let corners and things like that get open. Oh, he just gets wrecked. Derek Barnett comes in hot. And right here he spikes the ball, and I don't know why. He ends up punting it to me, and I run out the clock. We're into the next half. I kick it off. Here's his first play of that drive. Run it right up the middle with Kamara. Kamara gets some nice yards. And he's been he gets good blocks all game long. And you know, I'll give him that. Definitely. Uh, so right here, as you can see, I'm running cover two. I'm trying to send in some nice little heat with Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones surprisingly didn't have a sack all game. He gets a complete because I did end up switching to my D lineman because at the time I was lagging and I did not want a laggy linebacker musering the field. That would not have been nice. And right here, he pushed. They all pulled him forward, and it's just like, come on. That's just Madden AI for you right there. It's just so stupid. So Cousins tries to roll out Justin. <laughs> gets in there, just absolutely wrecks him. Comes in like a bullet. Which is awesome play so right here i'm coming out in cover three match i'm gonna try and see if i can get some coverage make sure nothing's happening he runs out to the right which is interesting you know kirk cousins not really a scrambler and he's scrambling with him two plays in a row throws one in there a really nice pass if i would have been a little bit quicker though i might have actually picked that off but you know i'll take an incompletion for sure so this is his third down and i just absolutely miss that lurk i Definitely should have just held LT, held Y, and boom, I would have had it right then, right there. But yeah, he gets it. He gets his field goal. It is now tied 14-14 right here. Third down. I'm just trying to get some easy yards, you know. I'm just trying to hit my my uh, my running back. Right here, I see he has to be in cover two. So I'm getting out my cover two beater with Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon running out to the outside. Kyler Murray delivers an absolute dart. Fatality. And he swerves right around. And Josh Gordon goes right into the end zone. An absolutely spectacular play. Great route by Josh Gordon, too, with that uh, post specialist. Right here. Oh, my God. He just gets... Kamara just gets absolutely wrecked by Roquan Smith. He's, Roquan Smith had an actually a pretty good game. He was pretty quiet, but, you know, had a good game. Right here, I don't know what he was trying to do here. He no way that was trying to be a cover beater, a cover three beater. Abram gets a little sticky with it. You know, he's out there. He's swerving around. He almost got away from Dante Pettis, but, you know, he drug him down. So, right here, here I am. You know, first down and 10, just trying to run it a little bit. Dalvin Cook gets an awesome juke, and he gets pushed forward a little bit for the first down. Absolutely awesome. Uh, so here we go. Almost into the fourth quarter. Dalvin Cook right up the middle. Nice yardage, you know. Very nice. Uh, we're in the fourth quarter now. Uh, second and four. Here I go. And as you can see, these last couple of plays were out of the same exact formation. And I was trying to do that to screw with him, you know. 
have a stretch go to the left, have a dive go to the left, and then have that uh, toss go to the right. You know, kind of kind of be a little bit uh, sneaky, a little bit tricky with him. Uh, right here, I'm looking for these slants. Nothing's getting open. Bruh. And then I throw off my back foot, and he gets a heel tap in the back of the end zone for a just spectacular pick. Very lucky, very great animation. And just, yeah, that was good. <laughs> Not going to lie. So right here, Kirk gets it off, but... It's no match against my cover three match. Justin Reed right there all the way. Gets right in there. I try to swerve actually out of bounds at the one so I could get another, the second touchdown with Justin Jefferson. But, you know, that's not going to happen. But I'll take my points, you know. 14-28 right here. Just nice. Absolute nice tackle. Nice uh, sack by Derek Barnett. Derek Barnett has been having a actually pretty decent game for a 77 star dev. You know, uh, right here I accidentally actually switched up with Mukamara, and then Mukamara goes to the outside and absolutely robs that corner of a reception, picks it off, and, you know, now I've got awesome field position with two scores up. I've got a chance to basically put this game on ice, and right here I find Justin Jefferson, who I actually subbed out for Josh Gordon on this cover two beater, and he gets a beautiful toe-tab touchdown. Kyler Murray delivers a perfect ball. It was just... It's the prettiest play I had all game. Right here, he cuts me up the seam, you know. It happens sometimes, I, you know, coverage gets beat. Right here, I just make an absolute bozo move, and I see him uh, do something with TY, and I'm thinking it's an out route because he sees I'm blitzing. No nope. Trash! Just right up the middle, and that just absolutely got me. I can't believe that. I probably should have just switched to Tampa 2, switched to cover 3, something, just literally anything other than a blitz. Oh, that was such a boneheaded move by me, but... You know what? It's not a lost game. You know, he misses field goal, so it's 20-35. Uh, I'm up by about two scores. Uh, well, more than two scores now. Two possessions. Uh, so, here I go, running the stretch, trying to get Cook out there a little bit. You know, get him some yards. And he got an absolute big play right here. It's really good right there, actually. Uh, here, Kyler Murray is going to take the read option. And... <laughs> Kyler Murray, just so fast. I love him on those read options. Here, I'm going to go with Cook, and Cook gets lit up. He just, it's so unfortunate. I feel like I can never get a big hitter fumble against people, but people can get a lot of big hitter fumbles against me. It really does, it really does suck, and it's super unfortunate. Right there, he absolutely gets me. And, you know, Darius Slay... I'm, I'm thinking he should have got there because zoned out, but at the same time, you know, his job wasn't to cover the inside. Bosa! And as you can see, Bosa gets in there again. Three and a half sacks on the game. He's got his X Factor, but uh, not for long. Uh, right here, he just throws a pick right to Darius Slay. Well, not right at Darius Slay. You know, tip, Darius Slay gets it, and Darius Slay right into the end zone. Darius Slay has been an absolute baller these last couple games with me. He's been just phenomenal. Joey Bosa, as you can see, still has his X Factor. Still looking like a beast out there. I'm coming out in cover three, and I'm trying to cover these slants, and I'm really thinking that ball was going to the tight end, so I went underneath instead of, you know, up and around the tight end to cover that slant. And, you know, he got me. That was an absolute beautiful pass. Great read, too. And he tries to get me again, but, you know, I got a corner right on that streak. He is not going to get that. Not today. So here he's going for the corner route, and Justin Reed is right there. Justin Reed had a sack and two picks on the game, not to mention one return for a touchdown, and that would be the end of the game. I run out the clock, and, you know, that was the end of it. Absolutely amazing showing for us, uh, and it moves us up to, what, 2-5 and five now? Yeah, we're looking good. We can actually probably come back in our uh, division. We could make the wild card. Just got to keep working hard, keep balling, you know. Kyler Murray's almost got superstar. And with Kyler Murray almost having superstar, you know he's going to be an absolute baller. But, you know, other than that, as you can see right here, Justin Jefferson now has star dev and 20,000 XP, bringing him to a six foot one, 92 speed star dev player, 81 overall. It's just crazy. So can't wait for our next game. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye. Side, shorty, throw your chances out the window Fuck my head, baby, I think I'ma let go All white cars, baby, just go take a photo Stay with me, cause tonight I'm getting slow-mo Side, shorty, throw your chances out the window